Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today we are trying out all those makeup we got from December's BoxyCharm, Ipsy Plus, and Ipsy Ultimate, which I thought I'd have more here, but I don't. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products to try. I don't know why, but out of three boxes, I feel like I should have more, but I guess the rest was like skincare and stuff, so I'm not trying out skincare, just makeup. I also have a set of brushes. They were just sent to me to try and give my honest opinion on, so that's what I'll be doing. These are from the brand In Stylish. I will list the website for these brushes below. They cost $15.99 for the four piece set. This is the not the basic eyeshadow brush from In Stylish, but they're on sale for $12.99. These weren't sent to me for compensation, just for free to try. And let's get on to the makeup. So I'm gonna start with the Fairy Tale Storybook Comics Robin Hood palette. I think this is very pretty, but the s size of this drives me fucking crazy. I, l I like, I can appreciate like the novelty of it, but novelty, get, anyway. But I really don't think it needed to be this thick. Like that drives me nuts. I wish it would have been like half of this size. It would have still been like bookish. But we also got sent this in Ipsy. I don't know how to pronounce this. Itza? Itzy? I don't know. Apparently this is worth $60. My fucking ass, it's worth $60. These could not be more boring in color. I don't know if I'll be able to use them today because they just don't go with these shades. Maybe I'll use them, maybe I won't. We'll see. But we are gonna start with, I mean, it's definitely gonna be a green eye look. So let's just do that. I'm gonna start with Nottingham right here. And to be completely honest, I don't know which of these brushes are which. There's a small angle brush, which I know what that is. A large shader brush, brush which I'm assuming is this. And these two, there's an eyeshadow brush and an eye blending brush. I don't know which of these are which, except for the first two I just said. I guess I'm gonna go in with this one first, which honestly, this is incredibly small. They feel fine, but this is a little too small and a little too dense for my liking, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Blend it out a little bit with this large shader brush, I guess. I let the company who sent me this know that I'm gonna give an honest review like I do with all the stuff that I'm sent. <clears throat> I got these a while ago, like a month ago, and I've been putting it off because I don't really like them. <laughs> like just by looking at them, they're not the kind of brushes that I reach for because they're just not the style of brushes that I like. So there's that. And already I'm already feeling they're not working for me the way that I would normally use brushes and need them to work for me. I'm gonna use this big shadow brush again to go in with Merry Men, which is this green right here. Kind of pack it on. Okay, so this is packing it on actually really nice. Okay, so I spoke too soon. This is actually doing a really good job for this part, but the blending up here, this didn't help me. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how I'm gonna blend this out. Because all I have left is an angle brush and these two brushes, which I used this one first, which didn't do too well blending, and then this one, which I'm gonna use to kind of smoke out the lower lash line. It's kind of buffing away all the color. Like I'm trying to repack it and it's not working. Okay, no, stop, 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 stop. All right, I'm gonna take this flat, big flat one again and kind of repack it on if I can. But so far, this is not good. Um, so let me go in with one of my normal brushes and see if I can diffuse that line. But see, even now I can't really diffuse anything because it's already set. And honestly, I don't even know if it's the brushes or the eyeshadow that it's annoying me at this moment, but I'm very annoyed. I'm just gonna keep going. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Robin Hood, which is this metallic green right here, and I'll put that all over the lid. And I'm just gonna use my finger. Ooh, it's really nice and deep. Mm, not really showing up. Yeah, it's not really doing anything. Over top of the mat, it's not really doing anything. I'm going to lay down a base for it and then come back and then put it down. I've made some discoveries. I don't think it's the brush that's the issue. This was good for packing, like I said before. Um, I'm still not a fan of this. So this green is patchy AF and I cannot get it to blend. The base I put it down on is sticky. It's the Jeffree Star Concealer is what I always use as my eye base. This I just can't get to blend and it's just patchy right here. Like it's, 
it's gone. And I've packed, repacked it a bunch of times, but I mean, you can see it's just gone right there. So on this side, I'm actually going to do, I'm going to use the four kind of warmer shades here. Cause I, I mean, that just looks like shit. And I'm actually going to save these other two brushes for doing the lower lash line. Cause I have no use for them up above. So let me prime and come back and we'll start again. Anything to use over here? Yeah, I have nothing to use over here. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do with these. I'm cool. Like, I'm glad I got like this cool new Z palette. I just, I just don't believe for a second this thing is worth $60. Maybe like 20, 25, maybe 60 now. Nope. I guess I'm going to start with the yellow and work from there. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M433. This is usually the brush that I start with. I'm going to start with Quiver or Quip. Yeah, Quiver. I just could not get that green like to blend like it, all I see is like this line and then like a chunk missing right there. It was just not good. All right, next we're going to go in with Nottingham again, which is like that kind of deep fleshy tone. I'm going to use my Smith 230 brush. And you know what? I meant to put in my Video, my favorite of the year video. I meant to put in like some of my brushes too that I didn't, I don't know why. Oh, I know I didn't put it in because it was so fucking long. This was one of my favorite brushes of the year. A few of my Smith brushes actually. Now we're going with, this is probably my favorite brush of the year. This is the Smith 235. At first I hated it and now it's like one of my favorite brushes ever. Now we're going with Forest, which is, I'm pretty sure just like a deep kind of coffee brown. This just hugs the contour of your eye like a dream. At first I was like, what do you even do with a brush this shape? You know what you do? You make magic happen. And I actually just want to see if the gold, the metallic gold, gold, gold made Marion is okay without any base. So let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Made Marion doesn't need a base. This just like glides on. That is very pretty. The top four shades, great. This shade kind of sucks. I, I had to take this side off. It was annoying me so much and it looked horrible. So I, I matched it to this side and I think it looks fine now. All right, so now let's go in with brows. And we have the Brow Bar by, I can't even, Rima. True Glam Brow Makeover Kit in Medium. I haven't swatched this or anything. So we have two powders, a cream looking thing. A, a, I guess a brow, what are they called? Brow mascaras, a brow tint, a brow something, and a brush. So I will, Jesus, I'm just covered in hair. What the hell? Um, yeah, so we're gonna go in with the lightest shade. And start how I normally do on the inner corner with this and we'll end midway through to the end with that. This is the brush we're gonna use. I'm gonna use this on one side, the in stylish brush on the other. Oh, and I did use the Illamasqua liner, it was Easy to use, very black. It was fine. Ooh, this looks very red though. This powder, the lightest powder. I don't love that. Oh, oh, it's very red, yikes. I already wanna kinda wipe some. I mean, it's sheer, but I mean, it's just very red. I've been meaning to wax my eyebrows for months. Think I've gotten around to it? No, I haven't. Now we're going with the deeper shade. Doesn't seem to be too red. Ooh, no, it's definitely warm, jeez. And honestly, this is such a small brush. It's kind of tough to use just like a light hand. Ooh, it's just too small. The brush is just too small. I mean, yeah, hands down, the In Stylish brush was way better for that. Or any larger angle brush, the brush that came with it is not good. All right, and I guess we have to use this. This is the, it doesn't actually say, I mean, I'm assuming it's just a brow tint. Oh God, it's a huge brush. <gasps> no, no, mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm skipping this. It's, it's, it's too big. 
That's what she said, but it's just too big. I can't use a brush that big. It's just gonna be a fucking mess. Let's go in and smoke out my lower lash line. And I think we're gonna do a tiny bit of the brown. It's fine. And now I'm gonna use a different brush of mine, something fluffier. And I'm gonna use a quiver again right here to smoke that out. All right, let me finish this eye and we'll finish the rest of the face. Here's kind of a mess. Um, okay, so now we're going on to the rest of the face and we have the Morphe Lo-Fi 8L palette. This isn't the one that was in the box, in the Ipsy box. This is mine that I already have because I already have it, so I wasn't gonna open a new one. So I think I'm gonna use this Literati shade to contour. Cause I don't know, maybe it's like my Hula Light Bronzer. It's close. I mean, we're, I'll do a swatch of it and we'll see how close. So we have Literati right here and we have, mm, Literati is a tad, there's something different about it. Oh yeah. It's a tad more like orange. Yeah. And Hula Light is a bit more neutral, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. I may like it. I don't use this a ton. It's not a bad palette. I just don't reach for it. Just don't reach for it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Japanesque. I don't know what kind of brush this is. I feel like I feel like it's a kabuki brush, but it's not a kabuki brush. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go in with Literati first. My Hula Light gives me a really nice subtle contour. And I did put on the tiniest, tiniest amount of cream contour. Why do I feel like all of a sudden every one of my brushes are shedding? Do you guys see a difference? I'm not being gentle either. I'm like really going into town with this. I, I maybe see a tiny bit of something, but I feel like if you look at your face long enough, you'll see anything. I don't know. Okay, um, so let's just go on to bronzer now and we'll go in with donut because this is kind of the only other shade that seems neutral enough. I'll swatch the other two shades. We have enemy, which is like straight red brown and then debutante, which is just, it actually isn't a bad shade, but it's very, very dark, at least for me. Yeah, so we have debutante up here, which and enemy, which is my enemy because it is like straight fucking red. And actually, let me know in the comments, just what kind of, undertone do you need to have for a red based bronzer to complement your skin? I mean, I guess, would I know if I looked at the color wheel? Would that make sense? Because you don't want to cancel. Anyway, if you yourself use a red based contour powder, let me know what your under your skin's undertone is because I'd love to know. But anyway, all right, here's Donut. And I do remember using this before and this is a nice shade, but I feel like I have enough really good bronzers that I love, so it kind of defeats the purpose of busting this palette out just for one shade. It wasn't overly aggressive, like it wasn't over pigmented, like I had to be careful, like, it's nice. Oh, um, for anybody following my weird throat health issues, I did go to my second opinion doctor. She was very nice. She took the time and really sat and talked to me for like a good half hour, almost 40 minutes. I was floored because I've never sat with a doctor for that long. She didn't have a magic answer for me or a magic diagnosis because I don't even believe at this point there is one. Maybe I'm a medical marvel, I don't know. But she is trying me on a different class of drug for a month to see if that has any effect. She put me on something, I can't remember the name of it, but it's prescribed to ner for nerve issues almost like restless leg syndrome kind of thing. She said because since nothing showed up on my CAT scan, she doesn't, she can't treat me for something that she can't see. So she thinks it might be a nerve thing that I'm feeling in my throat. Subconscious thing that I'm doing by swallowing. Anyway, she explained it in a way that made sense. So I'm trying this for a month, fingers crossed, fucking work. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, it makes a difference, it helps. Anyway, we're going on with the Ciate London Marbled Light Dusk Blush. Very reminiscent of the Hourglass blushes. I'm very excited. I've always wanted to try these, but I never wanted to pay like 20 something bucks. And it's beautiful. It's nice and subtle, 
but I mean, it's definitely like it's there. You can definitely see it. It looks like it's buildable and it's not when you first see these, or at least when I first saw them online, I was like, oh no, it's going to be like fucking shimmery, like a highlighter. It's not, it almost looks, and it, it looks like it'll be satin even. It's not, it looks totally matte. Beautiful. It's like that really nice. I'm in love flush. Just lips and spray left. And then I'll give you my thoughts on everything that we tried. Um, this is the Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. Uh, shake well and spray. Locks in makeup for 15 hours. Transfer proof, weightless, micro fine. Cucumber and aloe extract. I know there's um, alcohol in here. It's, I think it's high up on the ingredient list. I don't know how. Oh, it's alcohol denatcher. Denatcher? I don't know how to pronounce that. But I don't know if that's one of the good or bad alcohols, but I know most setting sprays have them. super fine, which is why it looked like I sprayed a ton, but it doesn't feel like there's a ton on my skin. So I guess we'll see. And let's pick a lip. I'm not going to do the Morphe. To be honest, I, I don't love this shade. It's a little too, I don't know. There's something about this I don't like. So I'm going to try the Fluid Candy Bar Liquid Lipstick. Never tried this brand before, so let's check it out. Oh. It's a little more brown than I like in a lip shade, but it's really not bad. It's not as brown as I thought it was going to be, but it's still a little a little more brown than I love, but it's not bad. It's actually really pretty, it's really comfortable, and it kind of is okay with the eye look. All right, so here's the finished look. I don't hate it. Let's go over everything we used. Oh, wait, there's highlighters. Let's pick a highlighter. Um, I'm gonna do Lit because that's the only shade I like in here. I'll swatch all of them for you. All right, so Lit is right here it's kind of a light gold the other ones i just don't love their undertones yeah i just don't love their undertones to be honest there's a pink one a peach one a, a kind of warm champagne and then like the gold which is lit i'm just gonna go with lit Ugh, and even still it's too gold it's too gold anyway so this is a nice palette if you like this kind of array of shades then you'll love it. It's a nice quality palette. Fine. Again, I hate the bulkiness of this. I think it's a cute idea. I don't believe for a second it's worth $35. The Merry Men was awful. This was very pretty on top of a base, the metallic green. These four shades were beautiful. Honestly, I think I have all of these shades times 10 somewhere else. So I might even just pass it on to someone else. But yeah, not a bad palette, but I'm pretty bummed about this green down here. I don't love the undertones of these. I just feel like it's safer when brow products are just neutral undertone. This is just way too warm. I'm sure it could work for some people. It's just way too warm for me though. I'm not gonna try the, this anytime soon. I'll probably end up passing this on as well, unfortunately. I have no opinion of this, except this Z palette is cool. This is beautiful. This blush, I die over. I'm putting this in my everyday drawer like now. Pip, do you mind? Uh, this is very nice, the Lamasco liner. I'll put it in my liner cup. Face fine. My skin looks really nice and smooth, although that could be my doing and my skincare routine. This lip liner, lip liner, this liquid lipstick is very nice. It looks actually a tiny bit patchy, but overall it's actually not bad. Um, like I said, I'm probably not going to use this. Even as I swatch on my hand, I can feel it kind of pulling on my skin. Maybe I'll try it in another video. I don't know. And these I'll save for another video too. Like I'm not just I'm not going to throw them out or anything, but I just, it's hard to use something you have no like interest in. You know what I mean? Like it's hard to make yourself use something. Okay. As for these in style brushes in stylish, right? In stylish. This was nice for packing this big one. This was fine for smoking your under eye. This was fine for my brows. This was kind of useless, this like blending brush. For $12.99, you know, it's fine. For $12.99, I don't know, I feel like you could find better brushes on Amazon for like the same price and probably like twice the amount of brushes you're getting here. So no, I'm not a fan, sorry. Stay tuned, I still have my fails of the year coming up and I know everybody loves those. I don't know if I'm going to have a video up the week of Christmas. I may or may not. I have a lot of stuff to get done before then, so if I have the time, I'll put a video up, but if I don't, I apologize, and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Be safe, and take care of each other. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.